Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Leah Cheshire Mustachio. The space station has seven inhabitants hard at work once again. On November 11, NASA astronauts Kayla Barron, Rasha Chari, and Thomas Marshburn, and European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer arrived at the International Space Station aboard NASA's SpaceX Crew-3 mission. The astronauts launched on Wednesday, November 10th, just two days after their counterparts returned home on the Crew-2 mission and leading to the fastest turnaround in history between a landing and a launch. The crew will live and work aboard the orbiting laboratory for approximately six months. To keep up with their mission, follow the International Space Station on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. As soon as the Crew-3 cohort arrived, it was time to get down to business. One of the major areas of scientific research on the space station is on the astronauts' own bodies. Some of the first experiments they perform help determine their acclimation to the microgravity environment, testing functions like dexterous manipulation, effects on the central nervous system and depth perception, changes in bone and muscle mass due to the release of phosphates stored within, and how an astronaut's ability to visually interpret motion, orientation, and distance may be affected by the spaceflight environment. These studies help us better understand how to prepare for and mitigate issues on long-duration spaceflights and also provide insight on how to improve similar conditions for people on Earth. After its arrival to the space station in August, Northrop Grumman's Cygnus is scheduled to depart on Saturday, November 20th. Cygnus arrived with over 8,000 pounds of supplies, scientific investigations, hardware, and other cargo on the company's 16th commercial resupply mission to the station over three months ago. Northrop Grumman named this spacecraft after former NASA astronaut Ellison Onizuka, the first Asian American astronaut. Flight controllers will command the Canada Arm 2 to detach Cygnus and the waste packed inside and release it for a destructive re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. After release, Cygnus will deploy the Kentucky Re-Entry Probe Experiment, which will test an affordable thermal protection system to protect spacecraft and their contents during re-entry. Live coverage of the spacecraft's departure will begin at 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. That's all for today on Space to Ground. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.